We have here verse 7 of the 10th chapter of the Gospel of John. As we've said, Jesus is giving a bit of a tutorial on the nature of shepherd and sheep, but now he sort of breaks through this uh, discussion and identifies himself uh, critically with one aspect of the story. It won't finish here. He's going to tie himself to other aspects of it as well. But at this point, having distinguished those who are legitimate shepherds from those who are not legitimate, and having made the point that these illegitimate shepherds are uh, to be identified with the corrupt religious leaders with whom Jesus has been having an ongoing conversation and controversy, uh, and indicating that there is the sheep, there are these sheep that recognize the true shepherd and follow him, follow his voice. And now we have Jesus identifying himself, maybe somewhat unexpectedly at this juncture, with one aspect of the story when he says now in verse 7, uh, a pen, third person uh, singular, aorist active indicative of lego, I say, so it's uh, he said, un, post positive connective, so he said therefore, palen, uh, this is the uh, adverb in uh, Greek, it's indeclinable, it means again, and so he said therefore again, the subject of the verb, ho, Jesus, the Jesus, literally, which is common in Greek, not so much in other languages. So, Jesus said, therefore, again, Amen, Amen. We've noticed, of course, that this is the way in which Jesus will preface a statement that is to be accorded particular weight. Uh, verily is the way it's traditionally rendered. Truly, I say, Lego, first person singular, present active indicative, I say, Humen, dative, indirect object of the verb. So it's the dative, plural, second person, pronoun. Amen, amen, I say to you, hoti. In this case, I say to you that. Ego, a me. Of course, this formula is uh, rather distinct, especially in John's Gospel, and has been frequently tied to the Old Testament name for God, Yahweh, that's found in the Septuagint version of the Old Testament scriptures. And so I say to you that ego a me, I am, and then ho thura. The word thura we've seen before. Uh, this is the uh, feminine noun that means the door. It can mean a gate or something of that sort. So he thura, it's a feminine noun, thus the feminine article. I say to you that the door, I am, and then ton probaton. Uh, the genitive plural of probato, uh, the word for sheep, of course. This is the genitive plural. I am the door of the sheep. Uh, Jesus will later call himself the good shepherd. He is, uh, in some ways, that which frames the entire context of what it means to be the shepherd of the sheep. But at this point, he's the door, and he's going to develop a point or two connected with that that we'll see as the uh, discussion proceeds.